Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international level fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Um, today we're watching Jinsei Obey, one of my favorites against Iran. And I'm specifically interested in this because I want to see how Korea Jinsei is, um, is adapting to the new rules with the clinch stuff. Because I know a lot of his game was based around that. So let's get into it. Volume here. Okay, typical Junseo stuff. Pressure with that front leg. It, when, it, when I get a better angle, I'll show it. For those of you guys who haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll break down kind of what Junseo does uh, to get in. Because I like it and I think it's a good idea. Cancel, typical smaller guy game stuff. So, one of the things for. I'm going to break this down for people who are a little bit more new uh, to the channel. Um, if you're, I'm assuming if you're, you found me, you're looking for not just technique because a lot of other channels have technique. You're looking more for strategy. Um, that's kind of where my channel is more aimed at. So one of the things that if you're a smaller player, um, obviously you need to learn how to cancel. If you don't know how to cancel, uh, you can watch kind of what Jin Sale is doing here. The angle is not great, but he's just going to lift his leg and He's using that leg not to score. He's using that leg just to uh, let me. Where's my epic pen at? He's using this leg just to knock this um, knock his opponent's leg up out of the way. He wants this. He's knocking. He's hitting it here, so his, the the trajectory of his opponent's leg instead of going straight this way goes up and away. And it's a good defensive measure uh, against someone taller than you or just someone you don't want cutting against you. Period. Um, so defensively, that's what he's doing. Offensively, he's kind of coming in. This is almost exactly his stance when he's coming in, but he's just hopping forward to close the distance, and he's using this leg, front leg, as a shield to deny his opponent's scoring opportunity. So good defense. Obviously, this, this guy has won world championships before, even being a head shorter than most of his division, and he's moved up. Unfortunately, got scored on. Good D. Like Iran bring more of the uh, interesting, so Iran bringing more of the uh, of the fight. I think right what happened right here was a little bit of the oh interesting. So what I what I saw initially was I looked like Iran was trying really hard to make sure that his hands were not past his opponent because now if your hand is past your opponent after four seconds. Um, you're going to get called for a gumjong, and that's a one-point loss, right? So you don't want to do that. But what it looks like is Jun Seo, not, his hands are not past the plane of his opponent, but his hands are gripping the Hogu like he did in World Championships. And I think, I think that's still legal, but I'm not sure. Um, so he does that so his opponent doesn't have, like, he... So he does that so his, so he has a monopoly on what the distance is going to be. So once you get into range, he's going to hold you there until he decides he wants to kick out or if he wants to try and kick underneath um, or any, anything of that sort. Um, but what that also does, uh, if I can rewind this, is it locks his opponent's hands. Oh, did I go too far? Boom. Boom, here it is. Oh, uh, a little bit past it. Shoot. Try one more time. Boom. Okay. So what it looks like is he got his... So once your hand goes past your opponent, I think if it's past your opponent for four after four seconds, that's when you'll get a gum junk because you're denying... You're delaying the action of play... or de delaying action. Um, but what Junsei is doing here, which is interesting, besides the little grab behind the hoku, is what that does is it locks his opponent's hands in a really weird position where he can't... You'd have to like bring his arm up and back in order to get his hand behind his opponent because if not his hands gonna be stuck forward right and so if it's stuck forward it's gonna be past his opponent for a gum jung. so he has to fight instead of trying to manipulate Junseo in the clinch he's trying to get his arm backwards so he doesn't lose a point by default interesting I imagine Jinsei is gonna try and turn up pressure here Good note for you smaller fighters, if you are smaller, then you don't need to um, 
you don't need to engage on every play. Like you watched in the last play, Jinsei was hopping back. So what I would edit, um, this, this Iranian player looks younger just by looking at his face. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I, I'm not actually not familiar with this guy. Um, something he's doing a good job of is he's poking Jinsei, which is fantastic. But he's also, he goes forward and then he gives up ground. And then he goes forward and then he gives up ground. Something to do, it would be to go forward and hold your ground, especially if Jinsei is doing, instead of, uh, especially if Jinsei is going to maintain distance. So if you can take more ring space, that's generally better. Uh, and so in these last two iterations, he'd cut, cut, go down, and then slide back. And then he'd cut twice, get some distance, but then he'd go back. So one, two, and then he goes back. And then he does it, I think, a second time. And then goes back. The second time, Jinseo canceled, so it makes sense. But um, if your opponent gives you free ring space, generally you want to hold on to that ring space and not move backwards. Let's try here. So this actually wasn't too bad of a combo. Um, what I'm looking at is pressure, then Jinseo um, canceled, right? So the adaptation that Iran was trying to do is go straight to his head, knowing that... Um, He's, it's almost, it's, it's one of the scenarios where he's adapting to where Jinsei was trying to adapt, but Jinsei was one ahead of him. Or in this case, uh, actually was a good idea, but the, the defense was good by Korea. And so uh, he poked, went back. The second time, Jinsei canceled him, and then he went back. And so he's expecting Jinsei's forward pressure now, and that's why he went straight to the face. Um, good, job by, good job by Korea here to defend that. So... Nice and a little body shot. Now Jinsei is trying to bring bring the bring the game. Um, yeah, so uh, good job by Iran there trying to trying to get the headshot. What Jinsei is doing here now though is I want you to notice his front leg. It's very up and unlike most people who are cutting sideways, Jinsei's leg is forward. So at any point as he's hopping forward, he's he has the ability to hop forward with that leg like that and then hop forward into an hack kick, which makes him really dangerous because if you try and counter like he he just flipped it up there. If you try and counter underneath, he has an axe kick. If you uh, slide back, he just takes ring space. Um, if you hold your ground and able to cancel, then you're on the inside, and that's where Jinsei likes to fight. Yeah, he has those little push kicks, which he can turn into an axe kick. And it's the important part, the reason I'm, I'm bringing up it's coming up straight is because it looks the same as the axe kick. So on its way up, you're not sure if it's going to be a cut, like a cut push kick to the body, or if it's going to be a cut push kick to the face. Body got okay. So good follow up here. Good job by Iran to cancel to uh, intercept by going up. I think that was off a counter though. One forcing him back, forcing him back. That was uh, just a little bit unlucky by Jinsei. He tried to change the look because he gave he did different targets. So he went body face, tried to go to the body again, and then went to the body a different target on the body using a different leg. It just so happened Iran's leg uh, was. Uh, good guess or good read on Iran's part to counter to the face. I think part of the issue here is you can tell he's looking at the score. I don't know if you can see his eyes here, but he's, he's looking at the score right now. He's not looking at Jinseo. Um, he gets set and then uh, Jinseo is really good at following up while in the clinch. Headshot. And out of bounds. pressure cancel very nice try imagine Jinsei is gonna go forward again no never mind I'm tired oh I wonder if Jinsei is fighting fly because of the I think the is it the Olympic here this year no it's kind of weird with the, the Tokyo being moved and everything Maybe not. Maybe he's just got he gained weight, gained some muscle. Uh, Jinsei going backwards in the last part because he's ahead, obviously. But overall strategy is kind of the same. Iran's still poking, trying to get those head, cock, head, head shots. I was going to say head hits and uh, I don't know. Okay, so Jinsei now more confident. Um, this is kind of what I expected more to see was a little bit more forward pressure with that front leg. <laughs> a 
<laughs> he doesn't get called. Okay, so what I'm laughing at is um, watch the way Jinseo manipulates the the arms of the Iranian while in the clinch here. Boom. He really like instead of he can't lock up behind anymore, um, and maybe they're telling him not to grab on the hogu. But watch, watch he he hooks his opponent's arms to a point where his opponent can't even get his arm out while he's trying to. And so Jinseo wants to let go and kick him. Um. A lot of front leg. I expect Jinseo to use his back leg sometimes. Oh, maybe not. Losing it, guys. Losing my touch. So I'm not too opposed to... So Jinseo is really, really good in the clinch. I'm not really opposed to the way Iranian is fighting him. Uh, the Iranian is fighting him by poking and staying safe uh that's slightly different than what i was saying before because before he's moving forward and actually taking ground and then he's giving up the ground versus in this scenario he's kind of just kicking in place and keeping jinseo at bay um so i don't mind that he's doing that i think to f mix it up though he should fall every now and then every every now and then even if you're playing safe and poking and then if your opponent's maintaining distance or canceling poke poke and then poke and then do a flick to the face or something um, just to change it up and to not be as predictable. All the kicks underneath the clinch. I think now he's going to start crowding him, maybe. So a lot of Jun Seo's fighting style is just forward pressure and following up. Um, this guy doesn't want to have anything to do with the clinch fight, so he's backing up, and so Jun Seo is just following up. Wow, nice. Three. Boom. Good follow. Or, no, good, good body shot there. Nice. Expecting. Oh, okay. Not bad by the Iranian here either. He doesn't. He doesn't reach him. But I would say right here, boom, boom. After this part, so after you knock your opponent like this, many fighters are trained to keep pressure and keep him there because he's off balance. He's kind of in a panic state because he lost balance. And so most players are trained to be super aggressive, keep him there, score as many points as you can. So by Iranian, by the Iranian doing this, by the two deep headshots, um, that's a really good counter to someone trying to be really aggressive because usually they're not thinking defense. They're not going to slide back as much. And so this attempt here by the arena is not, not a bad idea. Obviously, he's still getting... Oh, because there's three pumps. Uh, I think that was because there's body, head, head. Uh, so shoot, strategy is different, I guess. I, should do, I, think, I guess he should have once for the head on the first shot. I'm trying to regain the so what Iranian is doing right now is the, uh, he's trying to regain the tempo of the match because uh, right now Jinsei is pushing the match toward him. He's dictating when to be when when to aggress, when the f action is going to happen, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so this is uh, Jinsei was about. They actually both were trying to initiate action, um, but decent job of the Iranian to try and regain the tempo of the match because the last ten seconds Jinsei has been um, controlling all of it. Nice, different target, different target. Good. So, boom. For you guys who are formulating strategy, you guys, I'm assuming you guys have a couple of weapons already. It's very important to change it up. So, what I saw here and I liked and I was saying nice too was uh, this part where Jinseo tries for the axe kick falls up to the body, one of his classic moves, uh, which makes him crazy to fight. And then he gives another look, but turns into a punch so most people because they're racing for the axe kick are playing are leaning back and playing to evade and so they're stationary and they're stuck and so that's why i like him going for the punch here so this this combination here um, is probably something that's practiced here body after a face shot like that boom it's there and then notice he doesn't give too much time the guy is still recovering from the last action and so he's kind of in a reactive state that's where he's going for the punch. 
So good job. That's why I commented good job there. And then the third one was just um, he, now he's just continuously applying pressure. I think there's I mean, there's no it's almost. I think at this point, Junseo knows that his stamina can handle the last minute as long as he holds the lead. So now he's just turning up the pressure um, and making so his opponent does not get the ability to think clearly or like because if he's standing there his opponent can formulate different decks he can hear stuff from his coach get ideas for different decks he doesn't want that to happen he has a stamina to make sure that his opponent is always in a defensive state so he's using that and now he's just following him around the ring Front leg is really good, and you can tell by the way that the Iranian's kind of walking around. He's a little bit tired here, but nice try. Front leg is very accurate. That's it. So overall, uh, I was looking at this game mostly, uh, even though I was comment commenting on the Iranian, I was trying to look for what was different in Junseo's game. Um, first round, I don't know if he was tired, he just came from a match, or how many matches he had in this tournament. Uh, it seemed like he doesn't have, or his stamina isn't at the level it was at World Championships, but I also don't know if he's trying to peak for this tournament. Because uh, I remember watching World Championships in all five, six, seven matches that this guy had to do. It was just constant, constant forward pressure. So it seems like that is still a staple. There's not as much uh, clinch game going on. So it looks like his game has altered from a high pressure into the clinch into, uh, into a combination to now it's going to be moderate pressure, I'd say, on the outside. He's still getting in with that forward cut where he can cut, axe kick, and then cut to the body, which is nuts in my opinion. Um, and then once he gets there, though, instead of going opting for the clinch, he's opting for just follow up almost in that really odd brawl range. And uh, that's where he's able to do his small jumping op ball. That's where he follows up to the face. And then he mixes all of that. He has that, um, that close range threat, not clinch range, but close range threat. And then he mixes that up in, by initiating it with um, axe kicks and mixes that up with cut. And makes with a cut that looks like an axe kick. That's very important to note. His cut looks like his axe kick, so it's hard for his opponents to distinguish. And then even when he initiates the punch, the lift is the same. The front leg lift is still a forward knee, so it looks like it could be an axe kick, it could be a cut kick, and then that's when he lands his punch. Um, I think just because he's uh, not as tall as his opponents, especially because he moved to flyweight, um, he's going to, uh, how do you put this? I totally lost my train of thought there. It doesn't seem like he's as committed going forward, maybe because of potential height difference. Um, also, if I'm mistaking any of this and I'm recalling incorrectly that he won worlds in another weight class or something, then please let me know. Uh, but that's mainly what I'm watching for. For you guys who are smaller fighters, I would recommend watching a lot of Jensei Obey, the way he fights, the way he gets on the inside, and... Um, most importantly, the way he attacks and he closes the distance because he's obviously shorter than this guy, but he's able to close the distance very, very well. Um, on the Iranian's point of view, uh, decent strategy. I think that one of the things you could do after putting your leg down would be to follow up in place. Even though Jinseo goes back, he can try and follow up in place. Another thing, possibility that he could do would, would be to um, Trap Jinseo on his way in, so defense, defense, but then be able to mix it up, mix up a little bit more defensively um, as you're going backwards, if especially with the, the way Jinseo pressures. Uh, besides that, though, that's it, guys. If you guys found value in this, please like, share, and subscribe. Really helps me out. And um, if you guys have any comments, please leave those below. I'm gonna try and get to those as often as possible. Thanks and bye.